Hey everyone, so a couple days ago I made a video on how to make your own wireworms and um, when I posted it on the forum and on YouTube um, some of you guys said that you wanted a more descriptive, uh, more detailed way of me showing you how to make the wireworms. Also uh, show you how to make a variety of those wireworms. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make some wireworms with the beads, uh, with some acetate floss and um, just some ones using telephone wire as well. All right, so I'm going to be starting with uh, a wet, dry nymph hook in a size eight. I just got this at Cabela's. So just put your hook in the vise. Now all we're going to do is just take some um, some copper wire, 20 gauge, about uh, 12 inches. Start from the bend end. Just build a nice body with your copper wire. It doesn't have to be exact. Also, if you can, build it up a little bit more towards the eye of the hook. That way um, your hook doesn't go down when you're trying to have it horizontal. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do is just get your acetate floss into your bobble. I think it's called a bobble, I'm not sure. Make sure you're careful with it because I kind of got it frayed and too thick here. Um, so yeah, all you're going to do is just try and build up your body now. Just start from the eye end. Now if you have a whip finishing tool, just use that. And now all you're going to do is take that and put it in some acetate. I'm just going to use my mom's nail polish remover. I'm too lazy to go to the store and actually get pure acetate. So when you're dipping it, make sure you dip it only for two to three seconds. So that's what you basically have, a little maggot looking worm, wire worm. All right, so the hook that I'm going to be using to show you how to do uh, one of the wire worms, or one of the many wire worms that I use, uh, it just looks like a scud hook. It's about a size four or a six. I'm not really sure because I threw the packaging out already. So all you're going to want to do is just to tie some of the wire on the very top, just so your beads don't move around when you're fishing it. So the beads that I'm going to be using for this wire worm uh, I chose white and red. Alright, so the last step you're going to do in order to finish off your wire worm, you're just going to take your beads, kind of pinch them to the back, or bring them to the front, and then give it a little bit of, I guess, like a little spine. And there's your finished wire worm made of glass beads. So for the next wire worm, I'm going to be using a simple uh, size eight or size 10 streamer hook, just like that. Before you put it into your fly vise, uh, put the beads on your hook beforehand just to make your life a little bit easier. So what I did here, I just alternated the green and the pink, as you can see here. All right, so all you're going to do now is just finish it off with some copper wire here I'm using just some 20 gauge copper wire. Just snip off your tag ends and you're good to go. 
So the last wire worm I'm going to be showing you today, um, it just I'm just using a size six streamer hook, and I ran out of thinner uh, telephone wire. You you can use I'm using orange right now just to show you. It's going to look really puffy like a marshmallow. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work. I mean anything can work. So just start from the end from the bend and work your way towards the eye. Now make sure that you're tying them close together 